Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys talking all about shopping and some tips I have. I've done a video like this before in the past, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on some of the things that have been helping me. I consider myself a professional online shopper because I buy a lot of things and I, I like to spend money. I've, you guys know this already. I am the money spender. Basically that's what this video is gonna be about is just giving you guys some tips on how I shop. A lot of times when I'm on Instagram Live or something, people will ask me, where's your favorite places to shop? How do you shop online? I like shopping online just because it's so much easier. It's so much more flexible. I can do it in the comfort of my own home. I can have a cup of tea and be in my underwear if I wanted to. You don't have to talk to anybody. Nobody's pressuring you to buy things you don't need. But the one thing that I like most about shopping online is the fact that you can compare and contrast different stores and find the best deals. Um, one of the, ways that I do that is through this new app that I've discovered called Shop Tagger. And it's funny because this is the app that I've been looking for my whole life. Like this is the one thing that I've needed my whole life and I never knew that I needed it until it had been laid out in front of me, nicely established in a cohesive website. And I was able to see that this is what I've been missing. So I wanted to tell you guys about it because I think it's super dope. Um, it's kind of like your personal shopper assistant. Basically, it's just a site where you can um, compile a wish list of things that you like, and then it tells you when those things go out of stock, when they come back in stock, if they were out of stock. It also tells you when the price drops, 25%, 50%, which is super, super, super convenient. And the app is really easy to use. All you have to do is add the extension into your browser, and then when you're shopping, you can click on an item, you can add in your size, what you want to save on it. Let's say you want to wait until it's 50% off or 25% off. You can put all of your items into a list and then you can have a list by categories so that it's easier to find what you're looking for. I have a link in the description box where you guys can check out Shop Tagger for yourselves. A lot of times I have pieces and items, shoes, clothes, or whatever that I'm lusting over that I don't have the money to pay for right away, especially for designer items because one problem that I have is I have a lot of carts. I have like maybe four or five carts open at a time in different tabs on my Safari, especially for sites like ASOS um, and other sites that I like to shop at. Things go in and out of stock a lot because it's a popular site. So sometimes I'll have something in my carts in my tabs and if I refresh my tab, my cart will be empty because something was out of stock or my cart will be empty because they only hold stuff for a certain amount of time. So with Shop Tagger, you can have everything in your cart forever. I've talked about Ebates a million, million times, but um, if you guys don't know about Ebates yet by now, where you been? Basically Ebates is another little widget that you can add to your um, shopping tool arsenal and you can use it to get cash back on purchases. So if you make a purchase at a site that is affiliated with Ebates, you can get up to like 10 to 12 cash back on your purchase. So those cash backs are small, but they accumulate into bigger paychecks. So they give you a big fat paycheck every quarter. And I'd be so happy when that paycheck comes in because I'd be shopping online a lot, okay? I will go to the mall and look at stuff and then come home, find it online, and buy it online because just because I can get cash back. <laughs> Another tip that I have for shopping online is Google. Do your Googles. I talk about Google so much because Google saved my life. Um, Google usually provides you with a good enough amount of information about what you wanna buy. So let's say you wanna buy some shoes and you Google the shoes, every store will pop up and then you can compare prices. Always Google like, dupes and cheaper alternatives and like come on fam like you gotta be able to do your googles i've had these on my wish list for a long time all these in dubai actually i saw some shoes like this in dubai um and they're by Miu Miu, and their designer they were 700 dollars, and i was not about to fork out 700 dollars for some flats that i probably only wear like a couple times so when i got home i did my googles i found them on shein for <laughs> 30 bucks bo 30 bucks and i mean saved myself a good chunk of money they're ballet flat they have these ties that go up the ankles if you've seen them on my instagram i did post them on my instagram and post the link on there people were still asking for the link so if you want the link it's right here in the description box so you guys can check that out one thing that a lot of people have a problem with shopping online it is hard to envision themselves in something or find their size or know if the size is going to fit them. I would always recommend getting yourself a tape measure and measuring yourself. 
know your measurements so that when you buy something, you can check, double check the size chart and measure yourself to see how it will fit you. Usually that's pretty accurate, but I also only recommend shopping on sites where you can return the item unless you're 100% sure it's gonna fit you perfectly. I only do sites where the returns are either free or easy, no hassle. That's always a plus for me. Like if they have really good shipping and handling, you want that in your life, okay? Retail Me Not is good. another good app. Retail Me Not also lets you know when there are coupons. So I always search Retail Me Not to make sure that there are coupons available for what I'm purchasing just in case I can get a little bit of money off. Um, a lot of times shopping online is better than shopping in stores because you can get a coupon, but I mentioned Retail Me Not before in the past, so you probably already know about it, but you can actually use the app on your phone to go to the store and get your coupons there. I use it all the time for Bath and Body Works. So those are my tips. I hope that was helpful to you guys. Uh, now I'm gonna get into my favorite stores. Plus I'm gonna be talking a little bit about some of my favorite pieces right now that I've purchased. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys just because, <laughs> what? So my favorite stores to shop at are <laughs> all online. Even if I am going to go to the store, I do like to look online first to see what's in stock. Then I'll go to the store and see if I really, really want it. One of my favorite stores to shop at is ASOS. If they have overseas brands, companies that aren't based in the US, it's easier to buy them on ASOS. You can get it quicker. I am an ASOS, ASOS Premier member, so I bought ASOS Premier, which is $20 a year and you get two day shipping for free all year. So, <laughs> I mean, that's why I buy so much stuff from there because it's free shipping. I get it in two days, guaranteed. And if I need to ship it back, I can ship it back. They give me a return packing slip and everything so I don't have to pay for shipping to return. And when I do returns within 10 days, I get my money back. But they have really, really good sales. Everything is like not too expensive. It's affordable for the most part. They have a pretty good price range. Some sites that I like to shop at such as Boohoo, that do, they don't have as good of shipping and handling, you know what I mean? And it takes a little bit longer and their site moves a little bit slower. So I prefer to buy all my Boohoo stuff on ASOS. And it, I can find the most different stuff is what I really like about it. It's like, they don't have stuff that everybody's wearing, you know? Like, where else would you be able to find some shoes like this? Where? And they're not super expensive. Like a, re a shoe like this could be designer and be like a thousand dollars. This shoe was how much? 80 bucks maybe? But I buy a ton of clothes from there. I mean, I'm not sponsored by ASOS, just tell them to hit me up and we'll be cool, we'll be we'll be all right. Yeah, another store that I love to shop at is Zara. It's, it's a little bit like workwear chic. Zara has some pretty cool trendy stuff, but they also have really good workwear. If you just need good essential pieces, but good quality essential pieces. Most of their stuff is really good quality, and that's why it tends to run for a little bit more. I wouldn't say you buy your whole wardrobe from there, but the, those few staple pieces that you really, really need, definitely get them from Zara. So one of the things that I've gotten from there recently that I've just been obsessed with, I got this sweater from there actually, and um, it's just an oversized sweater, but I got this denim jacket from Zara and it is a like long line denim jacket. So like it goes down to about my mid thigh area. Even though it's kind of trendy, it is a staple piece too. So you can wear this a lot. And I've gotten a lot of wear out of this. Another shop that I love to shop at is Misguided. Misguided is also sold on ASOS too. So a lot of times I don't shop directly on the Misguided website, but recently I've been shopping on there because sometimes ASOS doesn't carry the same amount of sizes for certain things. So I actually ordered these jeans. If you guys have seen on my Instagram, I wore these busted hem jeans, they're mom jeans but they go down and they're like wide leg and they have these like ripped up, torn up hems at the bottom. The thing is I bought these on ASOS first and then I shipped them back because they were too big in the waist. And I was like, but that's the small size they had. They had a two on the website. I went on the misguided site to see if they had these jeans in a smaller size and they did, they had a zero. But on top of that, I saw that Miss Guy is having a 50% off everything sale. So literally everything on the website is 50% off. Brain Blast, I sent back the jeans that I got from ASOS and got my money back for those. And then I got these instead and saved myself half the price. Like, and while I was on the misguided site, I got some more stuff for half off too. Why not? Another item that I'm totally obsessed with right now is this jacket. And I did a blog post on this jacket. If you guys would like to check out the blog post, it will be um, down in the description box. I'll link it below. And it's so cute. It has this rose gold, silver metallic 
glittery detail on the back. I had to get this. It's just so cute. So if you want to see pictures of this jacket and how I styled it, you can go check out my Instagram. It's on my Instagram or you can check out my blog post, which is down below. I got this jacket from 602. Been wanting this Ivy Park jacket, but I love the camo and I love how big it is. Like super big, it's super comfy. It's like got pockets. I mean, it's perfect. It's long. So like it kind of like covers my whole body. So at nighttime, when I take Gigi out to uh, do her do, I put this on and I can zip it up if I have on shorts or something and be warm. I love how big the hood is because when it's raining, I can cover my whole face with it. So I wanted to get it because it was sold out everywhere else. So I got it and lo and behold, I'm on the website looking for some shoes that I can't find and I saw that the jacket was half off. 602 is also having a spring sale, 20% off the site. So not only can you get it for half off, but then you can take 20% off of that and get it for 60 bucks. Sometimes it pays to be patient. I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I did. I will put the link to this jacket in the description box. Make sure to check it out before they sell out because it's like sold out everywhere. But this is my favorite jacket ever. If you need a raincoat, this will get your life, okay? You will get your life with this jacket. You guys have seen me wear these a ton on my Instagram. These are the Puma Basket Heart sneakers. I adore these shoes. I don't know why I love them so much. I just love that they have these oversized bow laces. They have satin ones and they come with regular oversized laces and they're just so cute. So these are patent white ones. I also have the patent black one and I've been loving wearing them with my uh, my stripper socks. I call them stripper socks, but they're fishnet socks. I got these from ASOS by the way. A lot of people ask me where I got these. I got these from ASOS. If you guys are hip to Fenty Puma or any of the like Puma releases that have been launched with Rihanna. Like it's like a spring collection and I love everything in it. So of course I had to get some stuff. So I got the sneakers. I know a lot of people don't like the sneakers. A lot of people think they're ugly. I don't care what you think about them. I don't care if you don't like them. I don't care. I love them. So I got the green ones and these. I also have the slides and I have no regrets whatsoever. They just sit on my shelf and I look at them and they're just so beautiful. So the next purchase that I made was on my wish list and I actually had these on my shop tagger and I was looking at them and looking at them and waiting and waiting and waiting and I was gonna buy them online but I was like no let me go try them on in store before I make any decisions I've done this before so it feels like I feel like I should have been prepared for this I'm always scared when I make a big purchase but recently I went to Texas and I ran across them in store so I figured I should get them because they're never in stock I recently bought a new pair of Louboutins and I already own the nude patent so -cates. These are the black kid leather soakates. And if you guys want me to do a review on Louboutins, talking all about like, are they worth it? How I buy them, um, like how the sizing works, how I get them to fit me right and stuff like that, um, I can. It's not a full, full haul because I will be doing a try on haul um, very, very soon because I have a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys, of course. Also, since he's in the room, uh, my hubby did a fashion haul as well because we went to the mall together. So if you guys want to check out his haul, his video will be in the description box. You guys can check him out, subscribe to his channel, check out his stuff, tell your mans to watch, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you have a man, if you don't, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, whatever. That's all, that's it, I'm done. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.